When you listen to the bad voice on your shoulder, life goes like this. You see her, she's right there. Perfect in every single way. Say something to her, come on. She's looking at you, bro. No, she's gone. You didn't even smile at her, bro. Corn hub, here we go again. But when you listen to the good voice on your shoulder, life goes something like this. You see the girl, you speak to her effortlessly. You make her laugh, blush, and even ask her out on a date. Then even more hot girls come to you. You have an abundance of girls coming to you all in one go. You work hard, live in a mansion, hit the gym, and girls continuously chase you and completely admire you. In today's video, we're gonna be focusing on the warrior side of you and taking you through a complete transformation to make sure that when you approach girls, hot girls, you know exactly what to say. After watching this video, you're gonna see results pretty much overnight. And if you watch the video all the way until the end, I'll also share with you a bonus point that comes directly from our community. If you don't know what to say and if you don't know how to approach, the problem is only gonna get worse. And if you don't watch this video, you're gonna end up with this. <laughs> Come on, bro, it's time to go through the three ways how to be less nervous when you are around hot women. The number one is probably the most important step, but most guys don't even do this part. Find the girls by going out more. Huge amount of guys just stay indoors. Like I really mean it because if you don't have hot women around, for example, where you work, most guys will just go from home to work and back. That's the first problem. You're not even seeing the hot girls around frequently. So you need to change that. A couple of ways of doing that. The fastest way to do that is to go to the gym. Other than you feeling great, you looking great when you go to the gym and train, you're gonna get way more motivation, but at the same time, you're gonna meet like-minded girls that are driven, that are transforming their bodies, and they are far hotter, and they look far better than the majority of the girls out on the street. So you don't have to go to a nightclub or pub like the old school ways, but you can have a nice hobby, for example, anything to do with sports. And that could be anything. That could be gym, printing, even martial arts in a crazy way, but even dancing, like consider that. Because when you go to dance lessons, you will see a huge amount of really, really hot girls and women that you can just speak to then. So that's step number one. Get into places where hot girls hang around. The second one is building a habit to just walk up to them. And don't get too afraid like, the Jeffrey mind would be like, oh, what? I'm not gonna walk up to her, I have no idea what to say, just hang in there, young one, I will show you how. But for step two, you have to build a habit to command your legs to walk forward. I will not accept like, I cannot do that. Yes, you can. When you, when you think, I'm gonna walk up to a fridge, right, to your fridge at home, when you're hungry, you just stand up and you fucking walk. It's the same thing here. Build up a habit, start, command your legs to walk forward to that person, to that girl in front of you. That's number two. Don't forget the bonus point is about to come. Number three is just your appearances. Very simple, just get a nice clean haircut. Normally keep the sides short. So for example, for me it's short, but also dyed white, but you keep them short. You use nice aftershave because it makes a hell of a difference. When you walk up to someone and they feel that smell, where you smell really nice, they're gonna make the assumption that you know your shit. And do the half smile, right? For us guys, it's not gonna be easy to, you know, like do the full smile to someone that you don't even know, but just just with your eyebrow and with the corner of your mouth, just, just smile in a nice way, right? Just practice to lift one, at least one side of your face, so do a half smile. And when you approach the person, you're already in. Because you look sharp with your haircut, you smell nice, and you're smiling as well. Not the full smile, because it might look crazy, but just, just uh, half the face, right? And this is the bonus point. Bonus step four is what actually guarantees you results every single time. The first three steps is your preparation to make sure that you are there, in the right location, you're moving to the person, you look presentable. So now, the bonus point number four. This is the biggest problem that most guys have, is like, what the fuck do I say? and it's nerve wracking. And I know the more you like the girl, the more pain you're gonna endure. Just pro tip, remember that the pain of regret is always far higher than the pain of rejection, right? So just put that into your mind. It's like, it transformed my, my, my mind completely when I was going through the same thing. But when you walk up to the person, what the hell do you say? That's the biggest question I always get. And that's the biggest question I always had for myself as well. For the first line, it needs to be open-ended. 
right? And it will be as simple as, oh, you have a nice smile. Oh, you're wearing, do not compliment someone's body, by the way. So, oh, you have a nice smile. Oh, you're wearing really nice trainers. Oh, one of my favorite ones is, what time does the gym close, right? Even though you know the time that the gym closes because you go there every single day, it's a really, really good line to use because it's gonna open the conversation. Or if you're not at the gym, if you're at any other venue where humans gather, you just ask, what time does the X venue close? And then she'll be like, oh, well, you know, maybe uh, 10 a.m. or 10 p.m., right? Even though that is like a 24-hour gym. That's not the point. Even, even if you know the answer, still ask the question, right? What time does the gym close? What time does the cinema close? And then they will tell you, right? Now you are there, right? In their circle, they're thinking about you, that you smell nice, you look presentable. It's very, very easy to do. So these are the lines. This is the first line that you should use, right? Nice smile, nice trainers, or what time does the gym close? What time does the cinema uh, close? These are, this is the first line, essentially. Second line is, it's like super effective, but yet, like, we all know this inside of us. You will just ask, oh, what's your name? That's the second line, bro. What's your name? And she'll be like, my name is Jessica. And then you go, okay, my name is Linus, right? Now you made an introduction. The third point is to be a little bit more playful, right? And this could come in a very easy way. So for example, if the girl is training and you would say, well, like, hi, Jessica, I could never have a form like you. Like, I don't mean the body, but I mean the way you train. Like everything is on point. As easy as that, right? It's a very small observation. And think of it in, in a sense where you are speaking to, for example, a dude, right? When you see that he's lifting in the right way, you would compliment him and say, yo, bro, your form is really good. Or yo, bro, you're doing really good weights. Same thing applies here because she, just because she's a girl doesn't mean that she's a different species. She's still a human, so she's still training. She's still doing her thing, right? So you would just compliment, not her body. Don't do that because every other douchebag does that. But you would just compliment on what she does. So great example would be the gym. You would say, really good form. I don't think I could ever do that. I generally thought that like, you're a professional athlete. Fucking conversation is now open. And she's like, oh, no, Ra, thank you so much. No, I'm not actually a professional athlete. I just train for myself. As easy as that. Another good example, if you meet them where, for example, in dancing classes, you would say, oh, I could never dance as well as you do, right? And it looks cute and it's nice. It's open-ended conversation. And you're giving a, an indirect compliment, right? So it's not like, I like your body so much and I feel like you're really hot. But you are complimenting her talent, you know, her work ethic, her dedication to what she's doing. And then the fourth line you would use is just asking for the IG. A lot of guys, like at this tense moment, like shit, you walked up to her, she thinks well of you, you know her name, you had an open-ended conversation, it might now actually even extend to a longer conversation. As a CTA, which is the call to action, you have to seal the deal by getting the Instagram, right? And if you don't, like if she said, oh, you know, I'm not on Instagram, or I have a boyfriend, or I have a billion lines, it doesn't matter. The main thing is that you are trying and you are doing it, right? Because with practice, that's where perfection will come in. So you have to ask for the IG. You don't need to ask for the number, you know, because texting is not as good as actually seeing the person profile, looking at their photos, deciding more about their uh, persona, you know, who they are as a person. But you have to ask for their IG and say like, ah, oh, really, you know, like really nice meeting you. Are you on Instagram, by the way? Really nice meeting you. Are you on Instagram, by the way, right? And then you're like, oh yeah. Then you give the phone and then they put it in and that's it. And this is the last point. Right, and anyone that stayed all the way until the end of the video, these are the only people that are actually gonna get results, right? So now you know the full structure. You walk up to the person, you say, you know, really nice smile, really nice shoes, what time does this X venue close? Then you say, oh, what's your name? My name is this, my name is that. What's your name? My name is this, her name is that. Then you say, I could never dance like you, or I could never have a training form like you, like the way you're doing this exercise is so good. And then after that, the IG. What you then do is you have to close your eyes, young one. Like, just close your eyes. And even though we all have a TikTok mind where you want to scroll and you have to really think the future itself will thank you for this. You have to close your eyes and practice. And I really mean it. After you watch this video, just make sure that you close your eyes and practice. See the perfect girl in front of you and you are walking up to her. And practice the lines again and again. Oh, you have a really nice smile. Da -da -da, you know, what time does this venue close? What's your name? My name is this. And you keep repeating that again and again and again and again. 
right? The reason Mike Tyson can punch people out is because that combination of punches he practiced again and again and again. Same with Bruce Lee, same with uh, famous bodybuilders, because you have to, what, whichever exercise you do, right, you have to keep doing it again and again and again and again until your brain remembers. The most critical part here is when you're walking and commanding your legs, the way to overcome this is if you really shit yourself and you are under a huge amount of pressure, you will still be able to remember those lines which are open-ended and they will guarantee you results. But if you don't practice and if you're lazy, then you'll forget. Under a huge amount of pressure, you'll be like, oh, my name's Steven and I really like your body. It's not gonna work. But if you practice just these four points that I mentioned in the bonus point, these four lines, close your eyes, see the girl in front of you, and then just practice. Like you're walking up to her, complimenting on a smile, like you can fill in the lines. And do it again, and again, and again, and again. And then when you open your eyes, and the opportunity comes, you're not gonna fuck it up. Like it works every single time. And this is exactly how you turn your warrior spirit on. Like you saw at the beginning of the story, the loser side of you, that's like day to day. You want to end that shit right here, right now, and switch on the warrior side. Just close your eyes, see the beautiful girl in front of you, and practice, practice, practice. Even walk in your room and say it out loud with your eyes closed so you can actually see the girl. Walk, talk, just visualize, 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 and practice. And that's how, exactly how you do it. And if you feel like you need any further help, always feel free to reach out to me. I am available. I'll reply to your comments and you can actually even join the community that we have, which is brotherhood all around the world. At the moment, for example, I'm in Hanoi, but we have gatherings in, in Hong Kong, in London, and even in LA coming up soon. And if you enjoyed this video, you're probably also gonna enjoy the rest of the series. So click on the video wherever is gonna be here on the screen, and I'll hopefully see you in the next video. And remember, live your life as if it's a movie because you are the main character. Catch you in the next one.